Aja and I have come to a Victor store to buy the Air Badminton Shuttles. Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky, an American living and playing badminton in China. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. So we are outside the Victor store. I talked to the owner, he's got the shuttles. They just came in this week, so let's go get them. I don't even use an mouse pad. Mi young ma. Mi young ma. But it's too cute. Now we're gonna find somewhere windy to play badminton. Shaman City is an island, so you're never too far away from the beach. So we're gonna go to the beach, but it's hot as balls right now. It's like more than 30 degrees. We're gonna wait for the sun to go down a little bit. We're gonna find uh, some milk tea. Will we find some air conditioning? And then when the sun goes down, we're gonna hit the beach. Okay, here's an unboxing of the air shuttle. There are three in here. Ta-da! BWF said it took them five years to come up with this little purple thing. So, it's what we got. Five years of work. Make Andre tell me how. Okay, we have the three generations, the new, the old, and the feather ones. to the beach and if you want to see like how China is definitely not on lockdown we still have to wear masks when we're out and about and we get a lot of temperature checks but uh, we we are still not on lockdown at all okay I did not anticipate so many people we're gonna have to find somewhere to play where we have enough room where we won't hit people or run into people. It's like not only are the beaches packed, but the sky is packed with kites. Okay, well, we look for a spot. Um, if you saw my video, <laughs> Uh, if you saw, I made a video, like an Air Badminton reaction video, when Air Badminton was first announced, like a year ago. It's been that long, I just checked today. It was last May, 2019. They released this like whole new game with this whole new shuttle, but they had no production and you couldn't buy it until just right now. And even now you can't even buy the game. You can only buy the little air shuttle thing. You can watch the whole reaction video about how I feel, but in general, I think it's kind of dumb for the BWF to do. Is there really a need for like a slightly improved outdoor shuttle? I think the BWF, it's a sports association. They're not manufacturers. I think they should stick to you know, trying to promote the sport and spend their money on marketing. Don't spend their money on 
making a product. That's what we have Victor leaning Yonix, you know? If there was like a hole in the market for this special shuttle, like they would have found it, you know? It's not like the NBA is spending their time making a purple basketball that's slightly better to play in your driveway. No, like the NBA is like promoting basketball and promoting the stars. So I just wish maybe the BWF focused on that and not on this silly game, but I am a sucker for all things badminton. So obviously I gotta try it. <laughs> okay, we found a spot, good enough for us. You can see from my hair, it's, you know, relatively windy here. We brought all three kinds of shuttles. We can compare them. You're supposed to use like special rackets. Like your racket should be strung to like 20 or 22, I read. All of our rackets, we string it to 28. So um, I told Aja to bring like his worst rackets. I hope I don't break them. <laughs> First up, the feather shuttle. <laughs> I don't even know if we're ever gonna hit this because it's way too windy for this. Air badminton. How am I? How How Ooh. So, final verdict. Um, actually, I am shocked at how impressed I am. I think you can clearly tell it works much, I mean, 
a gajillion times better than a feather shuttle. Obviously you can't use a feather shuttle, but I was actually like mightily surprised at it was much better than a normal plastic shuttle. If I had to rate it, I guess I'd give it like a seven out of 10. I don't think on this kind of, it's not even a windy day, but we are at the ocean, but you definitely can't hit it like more than three or four times. <laughs> it's just, it's not uh, good enough in the winds for that. Obviously this is not something that any person that loves badminton would play, like unless they just wanna play outside with their family and you could just do that with a plastic shuttle anyway. It is a little dangerous. You don't wanna like run too much because it's like the beach and you don't wanna stumble and break your ankle and then you can never play real badminton again. <laughs> and I think most of us who are amateur but competitive badminton players i don't want to uh break an ankle just for like three hits you know but it's definitely fun and it's definitely a fun day out playing badminton is always fun and i know it's kind of hard to get a hand on these air shuttles but if you do play outdoor badminton or if you are like trying to get your kid to play or something these definitely work a little bit better than normal plastic shuttles. So I guess those five years weren't totally wasted, <laughs> but I think I'll stick to normal badminton on the court, inside with no wind and feather shuttles. Thank you very much. All right, have you tried air badminton? Let me know in the comments what you think about it and uh, I will see you next time on the court. Bye.